That's uh, Mr. Porius. He's a little fashion challenged, but he's a good guy. I was talking about the student council presidential candidates. None of them are running for the right reasons. Oh, sure they are. You get out of classes, you get special treatment, you get your own page in the yearbook. It's not <laughs> funny, Jet. There are a lot of things that we need doing. We need to upgrade our computers, a recycling program, off-campus lunch, Chipper Marsh. Student council president for the past two years because his dad owns the Pizza Nation. Let's kick off this campaign in style, gang. Free pizza, my dad! He's gonna win this election hands down. Jet, I've got a great idea. Why don't you run for president and I'll be your campaign manager? Wow. Wow, like you'll do it well? No. Wow, that's a really bad idea. Listen, Kay, my life is hectic enough without taking on any more obligations. You're right. And I need to find someone else. Someone who can go head to head against Chipper Marsh. Someone with integrity. Someone with vulnerability. Someone with enough good sense. Just let you mold them into the perfect candidate. Exactly. I think I just found my man. Silverstone. The ultimate action hero. Top agent for a secret organization. Saving the world one mission at a time. At least that's who I play on TV. In real life, I'm Jet Jackson. Being a TV star is cool, but being a regular kid is even better. So I had the show moved back to my hometown, Willstead, North Carolina. Now, I can hang with my friends, which is great. And the best part of all, I get to spend a lot more time with my family. Hey, I'm just trying to live my life as a normal kid, but some people still see me as the famous Jet Jackson. I think you'd make a great president, JB. I'm not feeling real presidential right now. You mind holding the dustpan? <laughs> Come on, it'll be fun. If it's so much fun, why don't you run? I hate being in the spotlight. Besides, these things are just popularity contests, and I'm not popular. And I am? You will be when I'm done with you. Unlike me, you're easygoing. You'll need that to talk to your constituents. I'm way too assertive and intense. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. Yes, I am. Okay, you are. But why would anybody vote for me? Because of what you stand for. What do I stand for? That's not important right now. What's important is that people like you. No, they don't. Half the kids in the school don't know my name, and the other half call me names. JB, when I'm through with you, the only name they'll call you is President. I don't know. I've always found politics to be kind of low down. I've got all the dirt I can handle right here. JB, I promise to run a clean campaign. Please, please. Well, I guess I could do it. That's the spirit. And I know underneath that nice guy exterior, there's a born leader. Yeah, maybe you're right. Let's go for it. It's about time I saw myself as someone important. A president with dignity and grace. Call for me? Yes. Do you know who this is, Silverstone? Yes, that's Casper Carruth. Do you know what organization he leads? Yes. La Guerre. A terrorist group that calls all countries the enemy. Do you know what they're planning next? Are you gonna let me answer this one? Yes. I'm sorry. Uh, all right, I don't know the answer to that. But I knew the other two. We've just learned. La Guerre has planned a major assassination. We don't know who, we don't know when, we don't know where. That's your task. Sounds easy. First, I'll locate Karuth. Not a problem. He's just been sentenced to 25 years in a prison unofficially known as The Pit. You'll be going in undercover. Pit? I've heard of it. Pretty nasty place. Worse than you can imagine. That's why you'll need these. A chocolate bar? Great. I'll find Karuth and give him zits until he tells me his plans. What is it, really? It contains a tracking device. That when activated, emits a signal to Mission Omega Matrix for 30 minutes. We'll pick you up in that time period. Silverstone! This tooth that contains a powerful morphine device. Now, be careful, Silverstone. Prison life is not fun. Yeah, but I'll be going in as something cool, right? Like a guard or a warden. Right. Hey! Hey! No need to be so rough! I want to talk to my lawyer. Hey, I'm innocent! Jake 
smile. Handshake, handshake, smile. Uh, I'm JV Halliburton. Nice to meet you. Smile, yeah, JV. I am. No, you're not. Flash those pearly whites. I'm trying, but my face is cramping. OK, OK. Let's forget about specifics and focus on the big picture. Right, right. A and that'd be? To have a student government that actually does something for the common student. And who better than you, JB? You're a real, living, breathing human being. You are the common student. There's no one more common than me. That's it. That's our campaign slogan. That's our campaign slogan? We're close. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. I got it. Let's bring the student council back to the students. Cool. I can live with that. Then shall we get back to work, Mr. President? Hi, J.B. Halliburton. A vote for me is a vote for me. Hey, nice to meet you. I'm J.B. Halliburton. I'm just like you, but I'm running for president. Hey, nice to meet you. I want to put the school back in the hands of the students. And how are you going to do that? Easy. I'm going to give you what you want. How do you know what I want? Because J.B. is just like you, an average student who wants his voice heard. OK, but what do I want? Go ahead, J.B. Tell him. Lunch? Yeah, yeah, on-campus lunch. Yes! You the man. Hey, guys. Pizza! Yeah. I've got double cheese, pepperoni, or my favorite, the meat deluxe. Give me that. I ain't waiting in no line. Hey. You got a problem, Caruth? Remember, you're new, and LaGuerre is not a year. Sorry. You are dead. Yes. Bring it on. It's exactly what I've been waiting for. What's with you, man? You're about to die, and you're reacting like you want to. Ding, ding, ding. No slipping anything by you. I got this strange disease when I was smuggling goods in the Congo. Oh, it's eating my brain! Look, what's the matter? You can't hit a guy with glasses? Come on! Pull me out of my misery! Come on, hit me! Hit me! Well, you can wash your hands afterwards! It's a little contagious, but... You can have this one. I didn't sneeze on it. For your disease. Rocco may be the biggest and baddest con in the yard. He's also the dumbest. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Thanks for getting rid of him, uh... Brownstone. Eric Brownstone. one of you. He wants what you want. Let's bring Student Council back to the students. Yeah! Let's bring Student Council back to the students. Yeah! All right! Good job, Kayla. If I didn't know me, I'd vote for myself. Thank you, JB. And now our next candidate, student council president for the past two years, Chipper Marsh. Two words. Free pizza! Relax, guys. I'm sure once they're finished eating, they'll forget all about Chipper. Report card. Not just any report card, it's Chipper Marsh's. Where did you get that? I got my sources. I did what I had to do, it's politics. 
What's going on here? Look at his grades, JB. He's barely pulling a C average. What kind of a president gets a C average? Caleb. I'll tell you what kind. The losing kind. Once we spread this around school, the election is ours. Oh, and I've changed our campaign slogan. Who wants a C when you can get a JB? I don't understand. Because he gets C's and your name's JB. Kayla, you promised. No dirty politics. Chipper's grades are private information. It's wrong for you to go spreading them around. I don't want to win like that. But, JB, we're losing. We're losing because his dad owns a pizza parlor. Is that fair? It doesn't matter. I don't want to win by putting people down. I want to win because I want to make the school a better place. And there'll be plenty of time for that after the election. But, Kayla, it's my call. I'm the one running for president. <sighs> yeah, and I'm the one who came up with your platform and planned everything. Well, Kayla, if you care so much, then you run. But you're running. Not anymore. Lock down! In your cells, convicts! Wait a minute. You're doing 10 to 20 for an illegal U-turn? Yeah, I turned into a jewelry store and backed out with a trunk full of diamonds. <laughs> You're something else, Brownstone. <laughs> Than I said, pepperoni. Outrageous. <laughs> <laughs> Tipper seems pretty chipper about JB quitting the election. Don't get me started. Hey, fine. You pick the topic. JB. I just can't believe him. How could he just quit like that? We were so close. And I know what I almost did with Chipper's marks was wrong, but JB could have been the president of the school, and he threw it all away. And what kills me is the fact that we just handed the election to that, that, that chipper. <sighs> <laughs> Call me crazy. But if you're so against chipper, then why don't you just run yourself? Nobody will listen to me. JB was the right person for the job. He knew how to talk to the people. Yeah, but they were your words. But Kayla, if you have something to say, then it should come from you. <sighs> come on, Jed. You know I don't like to be the center of attention. And anyway, what's the point? Nobody cares about the real issues. Hey, Kay, people might surprise you. But it's a losing battle, Jet. Pizza versus politics. Which one do you think's gonna win? Depends. Deep dish or thin crust? <laughs> Walking away now. Well, well, well. The great Silverstone finds himself in a slammer. Nice beard. Brownstone, rat. Eric Brownstone. Brownstone. Silverstone. What's the matter? Only smart enough to change half your name? I'm gonna be straight up with you, rat. I'm here on a mission. You mean Mr. Goody Two Shoes didn't get caught with his hand in the cookie jar? Shame. Sorry to disappoint you. Here's the deal. In return for my silence, you do something for me. Bring me my slippers. They're at the end of the car. Get them yourself. You want everyone to know who you are? Eric? Relax! It's just blackmail. That's about the right level, all right? Hey, JB. What are you doing here? Avoiding Kayla? Can't believe her dirty campaigning. I know she went too far. But you know Kay, I mean, she just got a little campaign fever. I just never thought she'd stoop so low. JB, did you believe in what you were running for? Yeah. After Kayla explained the issues. Exactly. 
Now, if you had a choice between Chipper and Kayla, who'd have your vote? Kayla? But she'll never run. She says she doesn't have the likability factor, whatever that means. Well, sometimes friends need a little push. <sighs> she seems plenty pushy to me. <laughs> I know what you mean. Well, Dibby, I can see why you wouldn't be so enthused about helping Kayla. But you said it yourself. If she was running, she'd have your vote. No, Jet, you're right. Where are you going? Talk to Cubby. I've got an idea. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, Could really use someone like you, bro. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. well, I figured with you in here, they'd be out of commission. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm just about to pull up something really big. You mind explaining these, Eric? They were white when I gave them to you to wash. Use more bleach next time. I'll try to remember that. This must be mine, right, Eric? You expect me to eat this? They're potatoes, aren't they? Without the cheese? Get your own cheese. What did you say? Yeah. You heard me, rat. No, I didn't. Because you would never talk to me like that, would you, Eric? Get your cheese. There's a good fella. Mark. Caruth. you wanted to talk, JB. I'm really sorry about pushing you into the election. That's okay. You just wanted what was best for the students. And, uh, thinking about what's best, maybe you should run. Look, JB, I know you want to see me suffer. I think you can win. Are you kidding? I wouldn't stand a chance. Well, then tell me this. Kayla West, why do you think I could have won and not you? You owe me that much. I'm not easygoing like you, JB. I'm not someone who rolls with the punches and gets along with everyone. I care about things too much. I care about this school. Yeah, right. Because of that, I got carried away. What about the issues? I hear you've got some great ideas, Kayla West. People don't want to hear about the issues, JB. Especially, Especially from someone like me. Oh! And that's a shame, because I really want to make this school a better place. After the flow of pizza stops, the students here are going to be left with nothing. No new computers, no off-campus lunches, the same old, ripped, worn-out team uniforms, and... I'm not saying I could change everything. But after all this school has done for me, I just wanted to give a little back. I think you're on fire, JB. No, you're on fire, Kayla West. Casper and I start the betting pool. Want to join? Like it isn't fixed. It's totally legit. It's a list of world leaders. So what? Each of us picks a world leader for one week, and if an attempt is made on this line, you win. <laughs> it's just sick. It's what we international terrorists do for relaxation. Huh. Casper must be getting stir crazy. Next week, he put down Colin Crane. Colin Crane? The organizer of the Global Peace Conference? <laughs> Caruth will never win with that dick. Colin Crane never makes public appearances. What's he gonna do, blow up the whole conference? That's it. They're gonna hit the Global Peace Conference next week. Yeah, yeah. It's getting chilly in here. Get me my robe. Get it yourself. Get me my robe, or I'll tell everyone here exactly who Eric Brownstone is. I'd love to be here to see their faces. Now 
nice. You get all the fun little gizmos. That'll be my ride back to headquarters. And that's my passage to freedom. JB broadcast what you said over the PA system. With a little help from my friend Mike. <laughs> you did that? I did what I had to do. It's politics. <clears throat> Attention, please. And the winner by an overwhelming majority, by right in ballot, our new president, Kayla West. Yes! <laughs> like it or not, you're the center of attention. And you deserve it. Madam President? Well, I do feel differently about our school. I thought these elections were just popularity contests. I guess I was wrong. So, now that we're FOKs, we get any special privileges? FOKs? <clears throat> Friends of Kayla. Yeah, now that you're president, you can hand out perks. You know, like free admission to all the dances, our own reserved lunch table. I'll see what I can do. Yeah, typical politician. All talk, no action. <laughs> you want action? Help me sort through this garbage for bottles and cans. We're starting a school recycling program. So, oh, think we can outrun her? Worth a try. Mm -hmm. 